plus D Y times the Yes, equals zero. Oh man, I missed it. Yeah, you missed it. Tell them don't Tell them don't Yeah, that's right. Tell them don't Tell them don't lie. Okay. So first of all, guys, you got you call this big M. Mm -hmm. Okay. Big M. Big yeah, M. and you call this big N. Mm -hmm. M and N. Oh, M and N. you gonna love those. Okay. <laughs> and here's the trick. Here's the trick. There's a DX here, mm -hmm. so you have to compute del M, del, del Y. y. Partial so, derivative. Yeah. Yes. So basically, everything that has an everything that has uh, anything that doesn't have a Y is constant. So two x is constant, negative one is constant. So the derivative here is zero. Right. For example, if if big M was x squared y, then del M del y would be two x. Well, no, no, wait. what's the derivative of y? One. 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 So x squared hangs out. Yeah. What would, what would del M del x be? That would be two x y. That would be two x y. Right. Oh, okay. the y is constant. With constant. respect to what? Yeah. Right. That's your variable. Everything else is constant. Okay. This comes back into. Yeah. Three. That was completely no big deal. We'll do it later. Okay. So that's a bit partial so, about three. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then del n del x. Well, again, everything is 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 constant. constant so it's zero. zero. Yeah. So these are equal. Exactly. So the differential equation is said to be exact. Yeah. So what does that mean? Let's actually write down what that means. That means there exists. We're gonna use the hardcore notation. That means exists. It's a backward Z. It's a backward Z. It's like the exorcist. There exists a function f such so, that sorry. the total differential of f is the above left hand side of the differential equation. In other words, del f del x dx. Since this is the first example, I'll write it out. Del f del y dy is equal to zero. And it's equal to this. Mm -hmm. That means that del f del x is this, and del f del y is this. Good yeah. memories, huh, Carlos? Well, <laughs> that's the answer? Yeah. No, 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 you gotta work. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll do another one after this. Del f del x is 2x minus 1, one. and del f del y is 5 by minus 4. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, so, so you check. If these are the same, it's exact. If it's not exact, you're done. You're, you're done. Okay. All right, so now here's the idea. You pick one and integrate it, and then you differentiate it. So let's integrate this one. Okay. So if we're going to integrate this one with respect to x, because it's del f del x. Mm -hmm. So f of x, y. So integrating with respect to x, so it's 2x squared over two. Two, 2 minus x. And normally you're supposed to add c, but it's a partial, partial derivative. derivative. So we're going to add an un we're going to add an unknown function of y. That's, that's how it works. G of y? Yeah, a little g of y. Oh, okay. These cancel. Okay. So you're left with x squared minus x plus g of y. Mm -hmm. So okay. we're left with f of x y equals x. This is actually really easy. Minus x plus g of y. All right. So we've used this condition. Now we just have to use this one. So we'll compute del f del y. So del f del y, okay. And then what's the derivative of x squared and x with respect to y? Zero. 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 Yeah, zero, zero. So then here we just get g prime of y, okay. And then, but del f del y is over here. Yes. Right. So this must be equal to five y minus four. Right. Okay. Right. Because. We work this out, and then, we, and then this must be equal to this, so we set them equal to each other. Okay. If that's not clear, so you work it out, and, you just, and then you say, okay, so del f del y is this, del f del y is this, right? They're both the same. So 5y minus 4 is equal to g, 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 g prime, prime. G prime of y. Right? Well, g prime of y, yes. So little g of y, you just integrate. You get 5y squared over 2 minus, minus 4. Y. And then just add a constant. You don't have to add the constant, though. We'll add it at the end. Okay. Turns out, since I didn't show you how to come up with this, mm -hmm. right? The final answer is as follows. It's just you take your f, which is right here. Let me erase the original one. You take your f, so it's going to be right here. X squared, squared minus, minus x, x. Plus this guy. G of y. Mm -hmm. 5y squared over, was it 4 or 2? 2. 2. two. two, two minus 4y. Mm -hmm. And you set it equal to c. You say, well, why? Well, you'll see later today when we go over like the construction of this. So you don't have to worry about adding the C anywhere into the end. So you just you plug in your G and then you set the whole thing equal to C every single time. Yeah. If that bothers you, don't worry, it's supposed to, because I haven't shown you how to come up with this. So So when do you know what to use?